Why do you think Amazon texts you to tell you your box is only eight stops away? Why do you think Uber tells you where your car is? Which actually doesn't work for me because I'm the guy that stands there and I'm thinking, why are you going that way? You should have come down one more and taken. I mean, literally one time standing at USDA waiting to get an Uber, it showed my driver driving on the National Mall, <clears throat> which is impossible, right, without getting arrested. <laughs> to which I said, see, I knew this thing was fake. I knew this wasn't really my car. Why do you think there's a mirror beside every elevator? We can't stand to stand or sit still. Look, let me make it clear. I don't blame Martha for her busyness. I've told you I'm the same way. Part of this is my upbringing. My daddy would give me a job to do on the farm as a kid, and if I didn't hop to it, he would say something like, son, ain't you gone yet? Turn your hat around so I think you're already on the way back. <laughs> I, remember, I remember show and tell when I was growing up. I was supposed to take something that was meaningful to our family, and I took a casserole dish. <laughs> Look, I grew up Southern Baptist. The casserole dish was our Ark of the Covenant, you know? <laughs> It got carried to church. If somebody died, it got taken to their house. If a baby was born, off it went. If somebody was having a celebration, the casserole dish came along. It had my mother's whole name on a piece of masking tape on the bottom. You're shaking your head. I see it. It wasn't just Joanne Starling. By the way, there were no Joannes in our church, and we were the only Starlings. But it had Elizabeth Joanne Matthews Starling. Because that casserole dish, that's, that's the way we did things. That's, we were busy. We were Marthas. 